Well, it's happened again. Uh, a vehicle went through the ice on Lake Mille Lacs today, killing the driver. It's a reminder that despite today's bitter cold, a few days of freezing isn't enough to significantly thicken the ice. Eric Shalou has more on the incident. The Mille Lacs County Sheriff's Office snapped this picture where a small SUV fell through the ice Friday morning on the east side of Mille Lacs Lake. It was a 911 caller who asked for help, reporting that a man was in the water. He was wearing a flotation device at the time, was pulled out, raced ashore in a side-by-side -side UTV. Unfortunately, this has ended up being a fatality. Later in the day, Mille Lacs uh, County Sheriff Kyle ice. Burton learned from the hospital that 80-year-old Richard Gadboy of Isle did not survive. Gadboy has been a fixture on Mille Lacs for decades. An acquaintance told me he was a friend to many. Ice conditions vary across Mille Lacs Lake, according to the sheriff. I know other sheriffs have talked about in the state, uh, not thick enough to be driving cars or trucks on right now. Uh, you know, to drive a truck, you know, usually you're looking for that 13 to 17 inches of good clear ice, and we certainly don't have that right now. Sheriff Burton urges anglers to be checking ice conditions before they venture out to fish on Mille Lacs. Foot traffic, I'd say, is safe, and, you know, your smaller ATVs uh, are safe in, in some spots. I mean, it's always a risk to go out there. This tragedy, the sheriff says, is a reminder about how conditions vary on the lake. Make sure you're checking multiple spots if you're going to get set up. Drill several holes and check that ice thickness because it might be six inches where you're standing and you might go over a few feet and it might be two inches. The ice conditions vary across the state. Up in Benton County, the sheriff reported a snowmobile through the ice Friday morning. Thankfully, the 16-year-old driver was able to pull himself out of the water on Little Rock Lake. The teen is being treated for hypothermia. In the newsroom, Eric Shalhoub, 5 Eyewitness News.